Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's Tom over at Gus. Today in the workshop we've got a Vauxhall Corsa 1.4 petrol. I believe it's a Corsa D and it's in with us today for a water pump replacement. The old one's leaking. What I do is I'll just walk you through the process of replacing the water pump. Not a bad job to do on these, so we'll get cracking. So I've just drained the coolant first. I've just removed the bottom hose of the radiator. There is actually a drain on the radiator, but it's a bit of a build-up of rust around it. And with it being plastic, I didn't want to run the risk of snapping it and end up costing the customer a new radiator. So I've just drained it there. So I've just got a jack under the engine now, which is on the sump with a block of wood. Just gonna have to take this engine mount off. Gonna need a female Torx uh, E14 and an E18. So there's three bolts to remove on the engine mount itself. To get to the bottom one, just lower the jack right down and that's easy to get underneath. And then just one either side. And then we've got access to our belt. Now we just need an E12 female socket just to crack the free water pump pulley bolts and done. It's easy to do this while the belt's on. So now they're all loose, we can release the tension on the belt. So on the tension itself, we're just going to crack the top bolt loose. And then we're going to apply pressure clockwise to the tensioner. This will relieve tension on the belt. While I'm doing it, I'm just going to whip the pulley off. The three bolts. then release the tension and then that's our wall pump pulley off just see there where it's been leaking dried and dried up antifreeze so we've just got the coolant pump housing to remove there one pipe at the back and then a load of bolts holding it on
She's got the old water pump off. Got a new one to go on. Part number there. When removing the old bolts, you'll find that they're all different lengths. Easiest thing I do is just get a bit of scrap cardboard. Get the gasket out of the box. Line your gasket on there. Just pen mark all your bolt holes. And then when you take a bolt out, just put it in that exact order. It won't get mixed up then. Clean all the face up. We've got a new seal to go on your thermostat housing. Obviously we've got the new gasket, so we'll get on and put that back together. So water pump all done, just got back from test drive, so I got it all built back up, bled the coolant system, so just pull the antifreeze in the bottle with your water, run the engine up to temperature, set the heaters on hot, and just get all the air out of the system. There's a little bleed screw on top of the radiator through that little hole there, and then once it starts blowing out warm air, quick test drive. And that is done. Coolant levels drop slightly on road tests. So what I do is I wait for the engine to cool right down and then I top that up. And then it is ready for the customer. I hope that's helped some of you out. If you're doing a water pump on a Corsa, uh, this one's 1.4 petrol, but I think the one litre is similar. And I hope you've enjoyed the short video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And we'll keep posting some more videos for you all.